Good morning, everyone. I'm Jane, reporting on a fascinating breakthrough in sustainable food processing. Today, I'm presenting research from the Southern Science Conference 2024 titled Protein Recovery from Whey by Coservation Using Carboxymethyl Cellulose, Scaling from Laboratory to Pilot. This collaborative study involves researchers from multiple Argentine institutions, including the Universidad Nacional de Cuyo, and Universidad Nacional de Rosario. Let me start with some eye-opening facts about whey. Argentina alone produces approximately 11 million liters of whey daily as a byproduct of cheese production. This liquid contains valuable proteins along with lactose, lipids, and mineral salts. The researchers have focused on a technique called coservation using carboxymethyl cellulose, CMC, achieving an impressive protein recovery rate of nearly 90% when scaling up from laboratory to industrial volumes. The research team set three clear objectives. First, to perfect the coservation technique at a laboratory scale, starting with just one liter. Second, to quantify the protein content in whey, specifically from the San Rafael area, establishing their baseline for recovery. Finally, to test whether their optimized laboratory process could be scaled up to pilot volumes of 10 and 100 liters. The process they developed is quite fascinating. It starts by mixing whey with CMC until achieving a creamy consistency. The mixture is homogenized at 500 RPM, and the pH is carefully adjusted using citric acid while maintaining temperature below 24 degrees C. After stabilization and 24-hour refrigeration at 4 degrees C, a whitish precipitate forms. For quantification, they employed the Bradford method at 595 nanelnum and conducted extensive testing across different pH levels to find optimal conditions for protein recovery. Looking at these graphs, we can see the optimal pH range for cocurvate formation. The team observed an interesting buffer-like behavior in the solution, where pH changes became more pronounced beyond certain ranges. The scaling results are particularly impressive. While they initially planned to treat 100 liters of whey, they successfully scaled up to 250 liters while maintaining high protein recovery rates. These findings have significant implications for the dairy industry, particularly for small and medium-sized enterprises. The research proves that the coservation process can be effectively scaled from 1 to 250 liters without losing efficiency. The consistently high protein recovery rates and the low-cost nature of this technology make it an attractive solution for cheese production plants. This work is part of Martin Moyano's doctoral thesis in engineering of products and processes in industry. The team acknowledges valuable contributions from numerous colleagues and financial support from Agencia I plus D plus I and Universidad Tecnológica Nacional. The research builds upon foundational work in whey protein recovery, including studies by Gonzalez Ciso, Doltani, and others, spanning from 1996 to 2022. For those interested in the complete bibliography, it's available in the conference proceedings.